to mm. remember those killed in the September 11th attacks. Kelly Ripon is live in Newport this morning where a memorial is happening at this hour uh, or are going to be happening tonight at the Peace Bell. Kelly, Kelly good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Frank and Tracy. They had a beautiful ceremony here at 9 o'clock this morning, and I had the honor of being here two years ago, actually, when I first came to Cincinnati, and it does. It takes your breath away, uh, kind of the location of where the ceremony takes place. It's at the World Peace Bell in Newport, as well as they have the memorial here for the firefighters lost that day, as well as the fallen firefighters for the Northern Kentucky Firefighters Association. We're joined this morning by Captain Phil Dietz of the Newport Fire Department. This was, uh, you know, a great ceremony, but we talked a little bit about how these ceremonies are becoming fewer and fewer, but it's important to keep in mind what took place this day and continue to spread that mes message. It, it, it's very important. Um, Chief Mintz noted in his speech earlier today that there's fewer and fewer ceremonies each year as time goes on. And I think this is an opportunity for us not only to pay respect to the fallen firefighters who lost their lives that day, but most importantly to the families that are left behind. With that being said, I think we need to continue the tradition to honor and pay respect to these people. And if anything we can do um, with a ceremony like this and keep this tradition going on year after year, and hopefully we'll gain some momentum and get people coming back to the memorials. Because it was a significant event it took, and that changed the world. It did. It absolutely changed the world. Now, we were talking about how students these days don't even, weren't alive or don't remember this taking place, and they're reading about it in a history book, but you guys are actually going to be headed to the middle school to talk to the students. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys are going to talk with them about. Yes, today we're heading down to the Newport Middle School, um, and it's, a it's an opportunity for us to sit down with the students. We've been asked to come down there, and we did, we've done this for the last couple of years. It's an opportunity for us to come down there and, and sit down with the students and, and let them ask us questions of what it's like not only to be a firefighter, but what took place that day and some of the events that we've done here with the memorial and some of the things we do on a yearly basis to honor these firefighters and their families. Excellent. I want to actually take a step out of the way because if you guys can see, again, this memorial actually lists all of the firefighters that were lost on September 11th, and there's actually a piece of steel from the World Trade Center site um, built in here. And if you've never had the opportunity, take a moment, come down to the World Peace Bell in Newport. This is actually the same site near where the old Newport Fire Department was located, and they, uh, they ring every day at noon. It's a a beautiful experience and a great way to kind of come down and remember what took place on this day. Up on our website, fox19now.com, we actually have listed the names of the people from this area who have family in this area that were lost on September 11th, as well as other events taking place throughout the tri-state today. We are live this morning in Newport. Kelly Ripon, Fox 19 Now. Kelly, All right, thanks. Kelly, thank you very much. What can do now? Yeah, yeah I, well, I just think it's amazing that we have that piece.